I just got a little simple video for you guys today. So in today's video, we're gonna be discussing my plans for the F30. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all see the Instagram? Follow me. But like I was saying, in today's video, we're just gonna be discussing my plans with the F30 and where exactly, what route I'm gonna be taking into finishing and closing out this build. So starting out with the front, I will be, I, right now I'm looking for a hood. So right now my options for my hood are very limited because all the hoods, you all the used hoods for my car are damaged and I can't find a, a good hood that's not damaged for a good price. They're all overly priced and damaged. So with that being said, I might, you know, I might keep the hood black or I might paint it white. It just depends on what's available and you know what's what I could get for a good price. So running down to the headlights, I will be keeping the stock headlights. I'm just gonna buy some new ones and we're just gonna fabricate them a little bit just so that they're better. You know, everybody knows that the F30 headlights are just trash. Unless your car comes with the LED ones, the stock headlights are just garbage. So I'm gonna be fabricating my headlights, you know, just to suit what I want. Coming down to the fog lights, I will be doing a fog light delete. Um, My fog lights that came stock with the car don't necessarily fit the M Sport front bumper. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna just remove the fog lights, but I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the the grills that I already have to number one save me money, and number two you know make it like an air duct you know. So now I have a straight vent that leads straight into my tires. You guys probably can't see, but my tire is right behind this vent. So now I have full airways straight to the tires. You know what I'm saying? Get that air in them tires, and you know that's gonna make me spin out when I decide to race a Hellcat from a dick. And so yeah, I'll be straight removing the fog lights and then just leaving the fog light uh, grills there, you know, for air ducts to my tires. And please excuse the car, I know it's dirty, I have not washed it. Moving on for under the hood, I will be keeping the entire engine stock. No performance parts, I just genuinely don't want to waste my money on performance parts. I mean, I might do a few things to make the engine look good. But other than that, I'm not going to be running any performance parts because I just genuinely don't want to. And like I said before, I am going to be running a catless downpipe. And then it'll be somewhat straight pipe from after that. I'm just going to keep the resonator. And yeah, as you can see, I do have a CTS turbo cold air intake. I honestly regret this purchase. I should have went with MST just because it's a better brand and I just like that brand more. But I'm not going to spend my money buying another cold air intake when this one works perfectly fine. Moving on to the interior. I am, like I said before, I'm trying to run the full M package on my car. So I might run um, the, uh, you know, M Sport steering wheel. But I don't know. It depends on how much I spend on everything else. And, and, and if I feel like I haven't spent a lot, then I might run the steering wheel. If not, then I'm for sure gonna run like something like it'll be it'll look like this steering wheel, but like something more custom and and more modern, so that this because this just looks plain old boring. Like I'm running the stock interior, and no interior. The only interior mod I have is my carbon fiber <laughs> start stop button. That that's it. Other than that, I'm not running no interior mods, and honestly, I just don't intend to. I just genuinely feel like for my car, it's a waste of money. Well, for the majority of the cars, in my opinion, it's a waste of money. But and what I would, what I want to take my car to, the levels I'm going to take my car to, I just might run the M Sport steering wheel. It just depends on the price, you know, if you know the price is on them and what's going on with the steering wheel. So there's a 50/50 chance. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be running the M Sport steering wheel. As of right now, it's just a consideration. Same thing with the. Um, on to the side i will be ditching these wheels so i'm gonna ditch these wheels because they're ugly and they are bent they're just utter trash i'm gonna be running so if i do decide to buy aftermarket wheels i'm gonna be running apexes because you generally can't go wrong with apexes and they are a good price right now apexes are like for a four for a full set of four you can get them for 1400 bucks now my original plan was to run oem wheels I wanted my plans with the car is to basically put the end package on my car like minus the steering wheel there's a 50 50 chance i might do the steering wheel i'm still you know 
deciding on whether or not I want to do that. But I'm going to be running the full end package on my car. Front bumper, which I already have on. And then the rear bumper, which I have. I just got to get that painted and install this stuff. So I'm trying to look for OEM BMW wheels to fit that OEM plus look that I want. Now the issue is, OEM wheels cost more than aftermarket wheels. I could get a full set of Apexes, Arc 8s, for $1,400. A full set of brand new OEM wheels is going to cost me $2,000 minimum. And that's in brand new. Used ones are going to cost me cheaper, but like I said, they are damaged. They, they are damaged. All the used ones are damaged. And they're also not the color or wheels that I want. So I'm still deciding on whether or not I got to look at what's available. Right now, I know for sure I could buy Apexes. So I automatically know Apexes is available to me and for me. But I'm still looking in the OEM to OEM Plus market to look for some OEM stock BMW wheels. That'll look good with the car, obviously. I'm trying to keep the white and black Panda look. So I'm trying to look for some black wheels um preferably either 704 amps or 437 amps 437 amps are very expensive why because they're m car wheels you know m the m and bmw stands for money okay so yeah i'm trying to look for some oem to oem plus wheels to be running on my car and for the exhaust i will be running a vrsf catalyst downpipe i'm gonna keep my uh, resonator and then we're gonna run that with a muffler delete you know something simple just to give the car some girth you know so it doesn't sound stock because it sounds utterly garbage stock you you guys don't understand the pure pain i go through with a cold start with this car i cold start this car every morning and it just sounds like utter shit and i hate it genuinely i hate it so i will be running some sort of exhaust work just so that it doesn't sound stock anymore see i am gonna fabricate my spoiler because my spoiler needs work because you guys can look close the spool is kind of uh, lifty, so I'm going to pull it off, clean the car, scrape off all the adhesive, wipe it down, clean it, and then I'm going to put new adhesive on, and then I'm going to restick the spoiler on, onto my car. The tail lights, I'm going to keep my stock tail lights, because with this car, I'm trying to make my car look as good as possible while saving the most money. So I'm not trying to break the bank, I'm trying to save the bank. So I want to buy high quality good parts for cheap and have you know good fitment with everything with no issues and save the most of my money so i will be running stock tail lights and now for for the rear i will be running the m sport rear bumper um i already have the bumper i just have to get it painted and so you know i was i was lucky enough to get a good deal because right now the m f30 m sport rear bumpers sold out can't find them nowhere so I was lucky enough to snag one before they sold out and um, I will be running a single sided diffuser. I was thinking about doing the dual exhaust conversion but I'd either I'd have to find a OEM 340 muffler or buy an exhaust system and I'm not buying an exhaust system for 320. That's just a waste of money. So I've decided to stick with the single sided, you know, keep it to its original roots and I decided to stick with the single sided diffuser which will obviously be all black gloss black no carbon fiber i genuinely don't really like carbon fiber on my car it looks good on other people's cars but on my car and eh, i'm not really i'm not really with it with that being said my car is just going to be a very simple build but honestly once it's finished it's going to look really good I'm, i generally might have one of the cleanest f30s out in south of florida once the car is done but you know i just gotta get parts ordered you know then i gotta wait for them to deliver and you know that's gonna cost money and time you know and honestly i really want to take my time okay i lied i don't want to take my time i want my car to be finished as fast as possible but you know i am gonna take my time just so that everything could be fitted on perfectly and everything could be perfect once the car is completely done so that when people see my car it won't even look like the same car that it was a year ago you know it'll look like a complete different car and it, and honestly i can't wait to show you guys this car once it's done of course everything that gets put on this car i'm gonna have a video for you guys so that you guys could also journey with me through the process of me building my car i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to like comment share subscribe and uh i'll see you guys in the next video whenever i decide to upload that and i'll be seeing y'all boys in the next video i hope you guys like the video make sure you like comment share subscribe and i'll see y'all peace